As I strolled along the bustling main street, I sensed a presence behind me. Glancing over my shoulder, I noticed a figure in the distance, trailing after me. Despite quickening my pace and weaving through the crowds, the figure persisted, undeterred. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being followed. As I approached the town square, the figure was still there, trailing me for the entire eleven miles. I stopped abruptly, feeling defeated. There was no escaping this person. Turning around, I faced my pursuer, Haynes, who had been following me for months. Haynes, please stop. It's not worth it, I said softly, trying to remain calm. But as he reached out to touch me, I broke down in tears, feeling helpless and overwhelmed. He pulled me into a tight embrace, kissing me passionately. As much as I loved him, I knew that our relationship was impossible. He was from a wealthy family and I was the daughter of a thief, and his parents would never accept me. As a coach approached, Haynes whispered his love for me, promising to find me someday. I pushed him away gently but firmly, running away as fast as I could, not looking back. Years went by and I found myself living in poverty, surviving on whatever I could find. Haynes was never far from my thoughts, and I often wondered where he was and what he was doing. Despite everything, I never lost hope that we would be reunited one day. One day, I couldn't take it anymore. I packed my bag and set out to find them, determined to be reunited. However, I had no money or food, and I was robbed on my journey. I was dirty, hungry, and tired, but I kept searching. One rainy day, as I was about to give up, a coach approached me. As it came closer, I realized that the shadow it cast was familiar. I ran towards it, hoping against hope that it was the person I had been searching for. But in my haste, I didn't see the muddy road and tripped, getting crushed under the coach. The pain was unbearable, and everything went dark. When I woke up, I was in a clean and bright room, lying on a soft bed. A young man stood before me, looking both happy and sad at the same time. My heart leapt when I realized it was the person I had been searching for all this time. We were finally together, and nothing else mattered. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos.